everybody. It is Sunday, March 24th, 2013. Thanks for stopping by. Now, I have something that I want to kind of ask today for anybody that, that might want to answer this. The white supremacists, the Nazis, and to me these are the same thing. I don't really see a difference. Um, the Nazis and the white supremacists, the evil people, they seem to, uh, you know, they're really motivated by this idea that they're better than black people, so black people, we just don't need them anymore. Gotta get rid of them. Um, you know, and, and I don't want to go too much into all of these ridiculous arguments about why black people are, are supposedly stupid. Uh, but I, I just want to point out that you're talking about a population of people that has been oppressed rather viciously for hundreds of years, who could not even sit in a restaurant next to a white person, you know, just a couple of years, maybe less than 10 years before I was born, you know, they could not inhabit the same public spaces, let alone schools. And they are in extreme poverty. And by design, they have been kept in extreme poverty uh, purposely by the establishment for a long, long time. And these people think that because you know, they score on average lower on some standardized test. That's it. They're just worthless. And if you try to, you know, just mention all of these myriad things that would naturally make you assume that a person will be at a disadvantage, they just think they can just dismiss it. Oh, don't talk about poverty to me. I don't want to hear it. But they don't have any answer for this. You know, they don't, they can't explain why um, poverty and lack of education, lack of resources is not a disadvantage when you're taking a standardized test. You know, you, you got two people lined up at the start line. One of them has a uh, moped and the other one has a fucking... Uh, piece of iron around their neck or around their ankle to weigh them down and you say go and then the, one of the moped speeds off and the guy with the big uh, chunk of iron stuck around his leg is hobbling and you oh the guy with the iron is worthless he can't run as fast as the guy on the moped kill him he's stupid he's slow you know what I think a lot of you people know and this is maybe what you're really scared of, is that you take away the moped and you take away the iron and suddenly it's a different race. I think a lot of you people out there know this. And that's why you're so um, desperate to get rid of those people with the iron around their leg. Get rid of them. You don't want to risk those handicaps being taken off, right? So, you know, but that, that's, that's a whole other rant. What, what I really just want to say is, you know, if we're going on the idea that human rights and your worth as a human being is entirely dependent on whether or not we can think of somebody or come up with somebody who's better than you, Okay, if we can't come up with somebody who's better than you at this moment, you're free to live and you're free to reproduce. But, oh wait, the second we find somebody who's smarter than you, or better looking than you, or better than you in any way, we'll just, we don't need you anymore, right? Isn't that what you're saying? You're saying we don't need black people anymore because look at me, I'm better because I'm white. And all white people are smarter on average. So you don't need black people anymore. You've got me. Well, what's to stop us from taking that a step further? 
and say, well, hey, wait a minute. You might score average on average higher, but what did you score on your IQ test? What is your IQ? Maybe there's another guy out there with a higher IQ. You know, if we're going to get rid of all the black people because they have low IQs, it makes a whole lot of sense to get rid of all the people with low IQs, doesn't it? That might just be you. So, you know, I really want to know, is it okay with you guys if when we get rid of all the black people for having low IQs, that we go ahead and do it right? Let's get rid of everybody with a low IQ. Everybody who has any disadvantage. Are you not so good looking? You know, uh, do you have a pronounced overbite? Do you have any genetic defects? Are there any hiding in there? A little overweight, a little underweight, a little weak, maybe too pale, not quite the right color of white. You know, because you could be too pale. You know, you don't want to be too pale. You want to have a little color. We've got to have the perfect white. And, and you know, if there's anybody out there that's smarter than you, what do we need you for? What do we need you? If you're not a supermodel or a super genius, what good are you? Because we've already established that black people aren't any good for the exact same reason. We found some better people. Namely, you Nazis. Now, again, are you the best people out there? Are you Nazis, supermodels, and super geniuses? Because if you're not, you're in big trouble. Thanks for watching.